What's up everybody, it's Ted Carr here and I'm sitting chilling on my laptop enjoying a nice sunny day in and more British Columbia right by the lake, loving it. I just got on my Facebook group in my academy for my students where I teach vegans how to create profitable online courses and my student Peggy in there posted in there saying, Ted, I did my first webinar, followed everything and I made over $3,000. Peggy just made over $3,000 in her first webinar. Can we give it up for Peggy? Super stoked for her. That's what happens when you enter the academy and you do everything as planned. Now, that's what also happens if you have the work ethic to make it happen. Making money online is not easy, it's not simple, but it's possible. It's possible. And in this video, I wanna go over three of the top limiting beliefs that I believe are holding people back from getting started with creating a profitable online course business for themselves. The first business, or sorry, the first business, the first excuse or a belief people have or the first objection people have about not getting started is they believe that they don't know what to offer and so therefore they should wait until they get clear on what to offer and honestly for a while i used to believe that that was totally justifiable uh, because in my own life i didn't know what to offer either and so i never got started but then i'm like well, is that a reason to not do it because really, like, if we just take a pen and paper out here, we just start brainstorming stuff, we can get clear pretty quickly, right? If we hop on a coaching call with someone, we can get clear pretty quickly. Is that really an excuse? Uh, is that really a valid justification for not starting, not knowing what to offer? And so I want to offer you guys a little piece of advice here. If you're not sure what to offer, if you're not sure of what you want to create, what you want to help people with, just think instead about what is the problem that people are experiencing that you know how to solve. What's the problem that people are experiencing that you know how to solve? Because at the end of the day, people are gonna pay you to solve their problems. And if you package it up in a coaching course, they're gonna buy it so that they can solve their problem. So if you're not sure of what you wanna offer, don't even think about the offer, just think of the problem. What's the problem? I'll give you some examples. A problem, people don't know how to make money online. Problem, people don't know how to lose weight. Problem. People don't know how to detox their body. They're full of toxins. They have all these symptoms like acne and headaches and all this stuff. Problem, people are low energy. Problem, people have horrible relationships. Problem, people have a bunch of stuff in their house. They don't know how to minimize or organize their stuff. Right. So for each of those problems I just listed, there are thousands of people out there who are offering to help those people solve their problems. And they make a full-time living doing it. Right. For example, organizing all your stuff. There's like the Marie Kondo method. Right. She helps people organize their stuff. Um, the minimalists, they help people like, minimize their stuff. Uh, there's people like Dr. Robert Morris who help people get rid of like headaches and, and chronic health issues with his detox teas and stuff. And just his advice on YouTube, his coaching programs. Um, there, and for making money online, right? There's tons of people out there who offer to help you create courses and coaching programs. I just so happen to do it in the vegan, raw vegan niche. Um, and if, if people want to lose weight, I mean, there's like a million weight loss people. I'm not even going to name names, but if you want to lose weight, there's tons of people out there who can help you lose weight. So for any problem people have out there, there's someone online who can help them solve the problem. And so just think of a problem you want to help people solve, see people who are already solving it and kind of, you kind of get an idea of like what's required to help people get the result that they're looking for. Now, the second excuse or the second objection people have when it comes to not creating a course is they believe that they're not experienced enough. You may be believing this right now, that you're not experienced enough to actually create a course and to charge money for it. But the truth is, I'm paying money to people right now. I don't really care if they're qualified. I just care if they have a result. I'm paying money to people right now on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis to help me get a result. So I'm only hiring them based on the fact that I believe they can help me get a result. And so if you are knowledgeable enough, that's keyword, enough, knowledgeable enough, to help somebody get a result, you can charge for it. And chances are you're probably more knowledgeable than a lot of the people out there who are already charging for it, right? You probably know a lot more about health and nutrition than a lot of people out there who are charging for their health and nutrition advice. Yeah, sure, you might not know it all and you never will because new stuff's always coming out, but that's besides the point. No one's ever gonna know everything there is to do with something because there's always new stuff coming out. So don't let that stop you. If you know enough to help somebody get a result, like Peggy has in the group, right? Peggy help, help, is helping people with, uh, with gut challenges, with digestive issues. And she's made over three grand in a, in a night with a webinar, right? So you can help people with anything specific. Any problem they're having, you can help them resolve it. And don't feel bad about charging it, uh, charging for it either, because they're gonna spend that money elsewhere to get the same help from someone. So you might as well, or maybe worse help, you might as well offer your help, your services, 
in, a, in, a, in the form of an online course or coaching program and get paid handsomely for it. So again, that's the second objection is just not feeling like you're not experienced enough, feeling like you don't have enough knowledge in order to charge, you're not certified, you're not qualified in that regard. Tony Robbins was never certified. He goes on stages and changes people's lives. He's not certified. It doesn't matter if he's certified or not. People just want the results, right? So um, if you know enough to help somebody get a result, boom, you're ready to go. And uh, you can start charging for it, no problem. And you don't have to come out of the gates charging for it. You can start out on Instagram and YouTube like this right now and just make videos about whatever you want to help people with. And then once you get people um, watching your videos, once you get people following you and they're saying, whoa, good advice, thanks, it's very helpful, then you can think about maybe, okay, I'll put together a course. Uh, but you got to start. That's the, that's the key here. you got to start. Now the third objection, this one's funny, but it definitely stops people. I mean, any, any excuse is going to stop people. If you, if you don't want to do something, you're going to come up with all the excuses not to do it. If you do want to do it, you're going to find ways to make it happen. But this one, this is a fear people have. It's a valid fear. I totally understand it. I felt the same way. It's the fear of not being techy enough, not having the tech know-how, not having the technical know-how, not knowing how to set up the emails or the funnels or the webinar or the automations or any of that technical stuff, right? But uh, the truth is all you need to do to get started is know how to use Instagram, know how to film a video. Done, if you can use Instagram and you know how to film a video, you have enough technical experience. Everything else can be outsourced. I'll repeat that again because it's so massive. Everything else can be outsourced. I am not the most techy person at all. I know how to click and drag, copy paste, type, like post on Instagram, that's it. I don't, I'm not technical. I outsource anything technical. I have people on my list. I'm like, hey, I know Bob can do it. I know Jeffrey can do it. I know Gonzalo can do it. I'll just hire them. Boom, take care of it. I don't even need to see how it works. Just make it work, right? Pay them a few bucks. They're not expensive. They just get it done. And once the tech is set up, I never need to think about it. Like I'm not going into my email service thing and changing things around often. Maybe like a few times a year at the most if I want to upgrade something. Anything technical though can be completely outsourced. So that should definitely not be an issue. The only thing you need to focus on as a course creator is the course contents and getting your students results, working with your students. So those are again, three of the top objections, the top things preventing people from getting started, at least on the surface. But I believe there's a root, a root to all of it. There's a root belief. And if you can overcome this root belief, if you can pull out this, this nasty weed of a, of, a, of a root, if you can pull out this nasty root of this weedy belief that's strangling your dreams and preventing you from getting started online, you will succeed. And this is the belief that nobody's going to buy from me. If I make it, Ted, who the heck is going to buy from me? Who's going to pay me money? Little old me. It's a little old me symptom, right? I'm not good enough. That's what it comes down to. Why would anyone pay me money? I'm not good enough. We have this belief in us for some strange reason. I think it's because school didn't teach us that we're enough. Our parents probably didn't teach us that we're enough. Maybe some of some parents did. Most didn't. Teachers and, and, and friends didn't tell you you're enough. You know, yourself, you're probably not telling yourself that you're enough on a daily basis. You're probably comparing yourself to everyone else on Instagram. And the more you compare yourself to everyone on Instagram, the more you compound the fact that you feel like you're not enough. Right, But you can change that. You can alter that belief just by feeling like you are enough because you are. And if you feel like you are enough, then you can easily figure out the tech. You can easily feel like you have enough experience in, in some realm. And you can easily get clear on what you want to offer. But you have to first believe that you are enough and that you're worth it. So if you'd like to make a full-time income online with coaching courses. And when I say coaching courses, I'm talking about like hybrid video courses where you film some videos and you give those to your students as well as going live with them on a weekly basis. So inside Course Creator Academy, for example, this is the course I run teaching vegans and plant-based entrepreneurs how to get set up with online, a profitable online course business. In that academy, there's a whole library of like over 25 hours of video training on how to get set up. But there's also weekly live calls with me and with Raw Food Romance, Lisa Maris. So we not only give our students the complete library to get set up, but we also give them ongoing help with their online course and growing their social media. So if you're interested at all in that, you can either check out a uh, video for it below 
where we walk you through uh, the first module. It's like a 45 minute training or maybe like an hour long training on how to start your online course business. Or you can just skip that and just book a call with us directly via the link in the description uh, to find out more information about the program. But either way, uh, I definitely recommend checking out that masterclass below. It's completely free training. It will open up your mind to what's possible. And again, if you're feeling like you're not enough, you absolutely are enough. And every time someone signs up for the academy, we do a survey on them and we ask them a series of questions and we have a lot of data now to go, to go on. And uh, the number one limiting belief people have inside the academy, and again, these are people who have already signed up. So these are people who have already paid to join the academy, and this is still their belief, is that they're not enough. They're not enough. And so this belief, this erroneous notion of you not being enough, it's so pervasive that it's, that it's even still there once you sign up and join an academy like ours. And so we get to work with you every week and pull that freaking root out and let you know you are enough, you are enough, you are enough. And then when you feel like you are, you can be like the next success story, right? You can be like the, the juice feaster, Brett. You can be like Sheila Madavi, food over drugs. You can be like uh, Peggy Shermer, who just made three grand of freaking first webinar. You can be like Lexi Tavares, who made over a thousand bucks her first webinar in less than 29 days, right? So um, there are success stories and you could be one of them, but you've got to have the belief that you can make it happen. So if you know what you want to help people with, you know what problem you want to solve, you want to package up and put it into an online course, click the links in the description. One of them will allow you to check out a uh, free training. The other will allow you to book a call with uh, me and my team and uh, might be able to work together. So check it out and take care. Have a great day. I'm going to go get some more sun and uh, start enjoying this beautiful Canadian summer. All right. Take care. Ciao for now. Peace out.